What's up, YouTube? Fable Grimro back again. Um, sorry for not uh, posting some videos lately, guys. I've been really busy with uh, student teaching, actually, so I haven't had a whole lot of time for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but the time that I have had, um, I've actually kind of gotten a little bit back into the tournament scene a little bit. At Locals, I was uh, kind of just chilling for a little while while I was... Uh, you know, in work and out of work, and now I'm student teaching, and now I'm just about done that, so, uh, I'm trying to get back at the swing of Yu-Gi-Oh! a little bit. Uh, today I want to give you guys, uh, a deck profile on Constellar. This is, this is a deck I've been really excited about, uh, since they started coming out in the dual terminal, and now the deck is starting to take shape a little bit. Uh, still missing a few cards that aren't out yet, but I believe in the next set we're gonna get the rest of the ones that we need, as the rumors go. So let me start off here with my list. Got three Sheraton. He's the uh, Stratus of the deck. Level three kind of sucks though because he doesn't really fit in with the rest of the deck's uh, Xyz plays because no one really wants Leonis anymore who's like their level three Marauding Captain. But he's still really good just for consistency. Three Constellar Pollux. Uh, during the turn that this card is normal summon, you can normal summon another Constellar monster during that turn. Um, the cool thing about him is he's just like, uh, Evil Swarm Caster in that he, if your opponent tries to Valor him, his effect is still going to go off because it's a continuous effect. So as soon as he hits the field, the effect, um, is live and Valor, like, can't touch him. So that's really cool. He's a 4-star warrior. He's searchable with Rhoda. Uh, 1700 attack. And probably one of the main cards in the deck for your XTs plays. Him and Constellar Algeti. Uh, she's sort of like a, a mini Pollux in that uh, when she's normal summoning, special summon a level 4 Constellar from your hand. So uh, I used to run Leonis over her until uh, Sombrace came out, and then I started running her because she just works a lot better with Sombrace, and even without Sombrace, because we don't have that yet, um, I still find that she is actually superior because she works a lot uh, better with Pollux and uh, Kaos, and helps make, you know, Shockmaster plays if you have to. So, three of her for more Swarm. And then, three Kaos. This guy is, like, the main focal point of the main deck for a few reasons. His effect is that he can't be used as a synchro material monster. Up to twice per turn, you can target one Constellar monster on your field and activate one of the effects, and that's to increase its level by one or decrease its level by one. So your main play in this deck that's going to be is going to go um, summon Pollux, summon Kaos, Kaos effect make them both five, go into rank five. The other cool thing about Kaos is that he is a Beast Warrior. So he's searchable off Tenki. So he's like the main focal point of the main deck, right there. I also run two Constellar Seats. Uh This guy is pretty cool. He's like the Constellar Cyber Dragon. Uh, it's a level 1, but it has an effect that it can copy the level of any other Constellar monster in your field, on your field or in your graveyard. So, he's really nice just to uh, make more uh, Xyz plays. The downside is that you have to use him for a uh, Constellar Xyz. So that sort of limits him a little bit, and I might cut him a little bit later once um, Sombrace comes out. But, so far, he's, he's pretty cool. One, Brotherhood of the Firefist Bear. Uh, this card is absolutely ridiculous. You only really need one in this deck. Uh, and like, you know, the regular Fire Fist, of course, run three. But in this deck, you only need one as sort of like your extra tanky search. And it also searches that tanky and is uh, free pop removal. It's just a really nice tech card. It's I find that I'm actually going into this card more and more just because of the advantage this card gives me. It's really nice as a one of. Two Valors. For effect negation and one honest for spells three 
Fire Formation Tenkies, searches out uh, my three copies of Kaos and my one bear, and also increases their attack by 100, which is kind of nice sometimes too. And has some really ridiculous plays with uh, Pleiades as well to bounce them back. Two MSTs. Two Lances. This card's absolutely ridiculous in this format right now. It's probably one of the best cards in the format. Uh, like, every deck is running these cards. So nice. Heavy. Hole. Reborn. One Rota to search Pollux. Traps. Solemns. Bottomless. Two of them. Two Compulse. Two Torrential. Two Safe Zone. This thing, I was questioning as to why some other people were running this card. And I was like, oh, that's really situational, you know, it's never going to happen. This thing with uh, Constellar Pleiades is absolutely ridiculous, and this card is extremely versatile, as it can either protect your guys in a pinch, or you can equip it to your opponent's monster, and if they destroy it or you bounce it back, then your opponent's monster destroy it instead. Uh, extremely nice at two. Uh, one Fiendish Chain and one Breakthrough Skill. Uh, Chain is another one of those cards that's like probably one of the best ones in this format right now, as trap-wise as it goes. Breakthrough Skill has been pretty nice. Uh, I had two in here before I had my Super Chain because I didn't want to run Fiendish Chain if it wasn't Super. So I got the one Super Chain... And I had two in here, and it was really nice against some decks, but in other decks I uh, was siding out against. So I'd be stuck with, you know, Breakthrough Skill and Valor in hand, so I'm like, oh, I have a bunch of effect negation and no monsters to actually protect myself. So it got kind of dead. Uh, so I dropped it to one. Uh, that's really all you need, though, because you can use, you know, just negate effect, or you can also use its effect to negate from the graveyard as well. So, just another nice tech card. I might end up dropping it if I get a second Fiendish Chain, or just end up signing it. But overall, not too bad. One, Constellar Hades. Uh, rank 3 Constellar. I don't really go into this very much because the only rank 3 I have is uh, Sheraton. And uh, see it if I can do that play as well. Uh, the main point of this guy is to sort of like Xyz climb into your rank 6, uh, rank six Messiah 7. I'll show you in a second. Uh, for rank 4s, you got your Maystroke. Cowboy. Die Gusto Emerald, uh, return three, draw a card, mostly. Black Ship Corn. Uh, Constellar uh, Prespi, I think that's how I say his name. Um, needs two level four Constellar monsters, and during uh, the battle phase when a Constellar monster attacks or is attacked, you can uh, detach material to increase the attack of that monster by a thousand. So he gets really big and gets over a lot of stuff. Very nice as a one-off. Uh, Star Leech Paladynamo. This thing just came out in Zexelton. Uh, two level 4 light monsters. Once per turn, you can uh, detach two materials from this card, target one monster your opponent controls. This attack becomes zero and its effects negated. And when this card is destroyed, you get the draw a card. Really nice. And Shockmaster. For rank 5s, we got Tyrus Volcasaurus, who also came out in. The Zexelton, both of these are like my option B's as far as rank 5's go. Because my option A is two Constellar Pleiades. This is like the bread and butter guy of the deck. This is um, probably the best card in the deck. Uh, during either player's turn, you can detach a, a material from him to send one card on the field back to the hand. So it's he's really nice as sort of like a compulse on legs to disrupt your opponent's plays. Or you can also um, recycle your own card, so you have like a Fiendish Chain down here, or uh, a safe or a, you can safe zone, you can bounce back your own safe zone while it's equipped to your opponent's monster, and pop your monster and you still have your safe zone. It's really nice. Uh, bounce back a Tanky, uh, or just bounce back any of your opponent's cards uh, on their turn. It's, it's super nice. Probably like the best rank 5. I think it's the best rank 5 in the game for those the decks that can make it. I also run two 
<coughs> Constellar Ptolemy M7. He's a rank 6. He also has an additional effect that you can overlay on top of a, another Constellar Exceeds, but you can't use his effect that turn. And his effect is that once per turn you can target one card in, uh, on either player's field or in either player's graveyard and return it to the hand. So he's really nice to... Um, so you would go like Pleiades, uh, use up his materials, and, and once Pleiades add materials, then you can overlay into uh, Messiah 7, or M7. Same with um, Prespe, or Pleiades. So all these guys sort of like accelerate into um, Messiah 7. The, the downside is that you cannot use his effect during the turn that you summon him that way. But the deck can also make him um, the regular means just by uh, see it and cows make cows rank six see it copy him and then go into M7 directly like that. Uh, a lot of people only run one of him because uh, the the downside of not be, being able to use his effect in turn that he's summoned, which in this deck is going to be mostly by that way, uh, is kind of eh. a lot of decks that. Uh, Spam uh, level sixes and go more focus more on rank sixes. Make better use of him, but I still like him at two. And then the last one is uh, Guy Dragon the Thunder Charger. Just has another Chaos Succeed to overlay on top of your rank fives and rank sixes. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, this deck is still missing two key cards that were rumored to get in the next set of um, Tachyon Galaxy. That is. Uh, Constellar Sombrace that I mentioned before, who is essentially like a one card exceed play. It's like a, it's a nice follow up exceeds. Uh, level four um, gets a guy back. You can normal summon again, uh, and then the the third effect doesn't really matter because I don't run, I don't run any tributes. But it's uh, a really nice card. And the other one is uh, Constellar Omega, who's like their main go to uh, rank four that you can detach material and then Constellar. Monsters cannot be affected by card, um, yeah, cannot be affected by uh, card effects. It's really uh, twenty five attack, and it's really nice. So, um, but so far this deck has worked out really well for me. Uh, played at locals a few times and had really good results there. Uh, topped a few times. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Peace out, YouTube.